What is up everybody? My name is Ishraf and today we got the part two for the gas system. Today we can refuel it. So I'll show you how to do that right in this episode. So I'm kind of laughing right now because uh, I, I'm no kidding. Like I'm not even joking. I'm in a Zoom right now and I have my AirPod in. Uh, and I can hear my teacher while I'm talking. So if I'm a little bit louder in this video, I do apologize in advance. So as you can see, we have done this in the previous episode. Before you watch this, I highly, highly recommend you watch the previous episode. Okay, I had to take a little break because the teacher is instructing me to do something, but I got this new outfit going on. It's like a little cow outfit, It's pretty cool. Uh, so we got the fuel system working, we got the plug in working. So as you can see, the fuel is going down. So it's like, how do I refuel it? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, let's go ahead and insert a part here. So the way it's gonna work is we're gonna have, just when we collide with it, it's just gonna give us fuel. Now, I know a lot of you guys want the UI with the gas pump. You guys can use the same code. Now it's not, I'm not gonna be showing you like, oh, your way, but this is just the basics of how the fuel actually works. So that way you can actually do it that way that you want. So this way you'll be able to see which car and how you can do it. So, and this is automatically registered through an event. So when your car is driving, it automatically updates to the server. So the first thing we're gonna do is put a script in here and we can just name it anything. We can name it uh, give gas. And then we'll just do uh, local fuel fill. So this is the max fuel that you want to put in there. So we'll put 0.5, right? So we'll put 0 0.5 uh, because that's what we used prior. And then we'll say local DB equals equals false. And then we'll say we'll skip line. We'll say script up parent touched. You know the basic touched function. And then we'll do function not fuel fuel. Yeah, I can't talk. I'm also hearing my teacher in my ear at the same time while trying to record a video. So uh, that's pretty nice. I'll say if hit dot parent find first child. And I'll say we'll find fuel. So we need to find the fuel instance in the vehicle. And we'll say and db equals false. So if you wanted to do this via GUI, use this exact same code and just send the car through the GUI. And that way you can do it that way. And then you can add an input saying how much fuel you want. And then you can do some mathematicas and then just be like, oh, it'll cost us this much. And then look at my how to uh, do the money video. Uh, <laughs> I cannot talk today. So fuel fill, okay. And that's about it. And then after this end, we'll say DB equals false. And that's, that's it, that's how you refuel it. Let me go over this so when we uh, go and hit it and our car has fuel if we're using fuel then we'll change the debounce and then we'll say that the max that the current fuel is max fuel and that's it's basically that simple so if you do want to find it hit dot parent is the model and then we'll find find first child fuel because the plugin automatically puts fuel so it's that easy just find the model find it to fuel dot value and then we'll set it to the max now make sure before you start though that this right here is anchored and it is uh, can collide as false. So that way we don't run into it because we need our fuel to hit it. So let's go ahead and test it. Sorry for any background noise. If you can hear my teacher through my AirPod, I do apologize. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the vehicle, I'm not gonna run into the barrier yet uh, that will give me fuel. I'm gonna drive 0 0.35 liters and then boom. As you can see right here, our fuel went up. If you guys did not see it, let me try it one more time. As you can see, look at my dial. I'll even uh, crop it out in the video right now. Look at the dial, boom, it went back up when we hit it. And it's currently registering via server that we are getting more fuel. That's basically, it was a short tutorial. Uh, you can access it that way if you want a UI. What I would do is look at my video called Give Players UI, do that, and that way you can register via server that you're giving fuel because it's all server side too. So find the model, send the model through an object value. Um, you guys are smart, you guys can figure this out. I'm thinking about making a tycoon maybe, uh, an obby, I should say, an obby tutorial, uh, how to do checkpoints and how to do respawning, but I'm not really sure how you guys would feel about that. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. Before I end, go ahead and take a look at these awesome comments that I saw. Amazing, amazing comments. Um, it's just, thank you guys so much for the support. I noticed that some of the things don't work for you. Just watch the video again. Um, and then check out Limitless Gamer, guys. That is funding my new game called Infinite Driver. And it's pretty awesome. It is really nice. Uh, I'm the owner of the group. Um, it's going to be next level. It's backed by RDC. Um, every protection is enabled on it. So yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and test it out, it's in it's in literally beta right now. It's literally no no scripting. It's just you get in the game, you can drive vehicles. I'll leave a link below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on those post notifications on so you can be the first one to get this new tech. And peace. peace.